Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video we are going to check out the Parkside PHDP 180B2 uh, pressure washer which belongs to one of my um, viewers, Istvan. So big thanks to Istvan for uh, letting me use it uh, to be able to show you. I'm going to walk around the machine and I will put some information about it on screen. Without any further ado, let's roll. Uh, just one more side note, I'm going to try it with the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro 2.0.
Okay, boys and girls, that was the Parkside PHDP 180B2 uh, pressure washer. What I forgot to mention at the beginning that uh, it comes with also a bottle of W5 shampoo. Obviously, the foam cannon is not part of the package, and it has five years warranty, and also it has a like a like a floor cleaner or pavement cleaner attachment uh, to it. Other than that, what I really like also that it has a quick connect. I show you. So you could either use, let's say, a foam cannon with this quick connect adapter. However, I don't really recommend it because it's too long. If you put it to the handle, this lens, and then you put the foam cannon at the end of it with a quick connect, then it is a bit like uh, wobbly. So I would rather say get, um, if you want to use the um, factory handle or lens, then rather get a, a Parkside or Lavor adapter to your foam cannon if you buy a foam cannon and use that way because it's more controllable and no wobble and it's not as long, it's shorter. Or if you want to use a quick connect or like an aftermarket uh, short gun, then get an aftermarket short gun with a quick connect and then you can get a foam cannon also with a quick connect. Other than that, it didn't really feel like 150 bars. Um, the water pressure is, is good, so it is more than sufficient. But compared to my Kranzel, which shows 140 bars constantly on, on the dial, uh, this one felt somewhat weaker, but definitely it feels much stronger than the 110, 130 bars pressure washers uh, that I used before. Um, other than that, it has a nice long hose pipe. I really liked it. I just had to put it down behind the car and then I could walk all around uh, without moving the machine a bit. The owner Istvan told me that uh, in his opinion it can tip over easily. So what I've done, uh, I um, unwinded all the hose pipe, then I untwisted it because otherwise it's a rather strong one. The Kranzel's uh, hose pipe is more, let's say, flexible or more agile. Uh, but if you unwind it and untwist it, then this one is also um, very handy as well. And then I um, put the machine sideways behind the car and then it, it didn't want to uh, tip over at all. Other than that, as I said, the pressure is more than enough. When I first washed, or when I, I've done a first rinse uh, before the foaming, I used first the car setting on the lens. That was feeling a bit weaker, but then I turned it up uh, to the max, which shows the brick wall. And that's how I uh, rinsed the second half of the car. And then after the foaming, that's how I rinsed the whole car. So yeah, pressure wise, it's sufficient. I have to say it comes with five years warranty for this sort of money this machine is a rather good choice so i can hands on heart recommend and that concludes this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos i'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one bye bye